what's going on world it's another entertaining episode of sneak peek here on nice kicks i'm your host george kill and before we get into it let's revisit a recent my five episode i got a, a bunch of stuff in storage in cali yeah okay overall you have about I probably in six, seven hundred range this really? summer, man. Come check me out. All right. And that we did. This summer, Josh Childress invited us to his sneaker garage full of rare gems and player exclusives. But for now, check out his hefty stash of two of his go-to models. All right, Nice Kicks fan, we're out here with Josh Childress and Irvin. How you doing, man? I'm good. How you doing? I can't lie. The last time when we met you in Brooklyn, you said you had 800 pairs of shoes. I kind of doubted you on that. <laughs> I don't know how many I have, man, but you know, I got I got a decent amount, I say. All right, and you look taller than last time, and you're wobbling. Yeah, I'm uh, rocking some new buck skates that I had made. I can't skate though, so I'm struggling right now. I did it for my nephew's birthday, but you know, I try to be a little different, you know what I mean? All right, we gotta check out what else you have made. All right, sounds good. All right. So I'll take you over to, it's not really my closet, uh, it's my garage, I just moved into the spot, but um, I'm gonna start you guys off by showing you basically what what got me into, into kicks. There's a couple pair, um, you know, when I was younger, that really just got me going, got, you know, got me hype about, you know, the new releases and all that stuff. One of them is, uh, and I always keep a pair of these no matter what, is it uh, Air Max 97, Dan O'Brien's. This shoe, along with this shoe, the ubiquitous um, were the two shoes that my brother basically motivated me, motivated me with in eighth grade. And he was like, "Keep getting good grades, you keep uh, you know working hard, and you'll get some kicks." And these were the shoes that I feel like you know really pushed me to the to the next step in terms of my development academically and on the court. Um, you know, just because I was just so hyped. These were the hottest shoes back then. I was just so hyped to get them. The third one is a penny. Here's the white ones, but the black ones were, were the ones that, that got me going. Um, that was one of the sickest shoes I think I had ever seen at the time. It was just, and Penny had the little penny, uh, the half penny, half cent, whole thing going on, which was just crazy. And, and it just really uh, made me excited about kicks. So. And then the fourth were these, Spiridons. Um, and these are beat, but I just keep, I keep them as like a sentimental thing uh, just because um, I actually ended up, <laughs> this was when I wore a size 12, but I ended up stealing my older brother's pair um, and rocking them to school a couple of times just because it was like, I love these shoes, man. It was one more actually. And the one more was um, the, uh, the phone posits, white phone posits. And as you can see, these are a bit worn too, but most of the stuff that like holds value to me, I just keep it. A lot of these shoes, man, just have, I have memories with, you know? I, I got certain things that just take me back to certain parts of my, my childhood or whatever that just, you know, it's just special. And I see some stuff in here that a lot of people don't collect anymore. Forces. Is that something you were really big into growing up? Uh, yeah. I used to wear Forces in high school um, and college. And I know that that was kind of before the whole like Nelly uh, Air Force One song where they really got popular. Um, but yeah, I always just like the, the look of them. You know, obviously it came in a bunch of different colors. So I got a, a ton of them still. Um, I can kind of take you through some of the, the ones I feel good about, you know what I mean? Man, where do I go? I got my boy G Money over here. Who's gonna, I don't have a shoe, a shoe keeper like Nick Young, but G Money's gonna help me out a little bit. Um, these were crispy to me. This shoe right here with the gum bottom, these are always just crispy. A couple pair of um, premium forces uh, that I had made. When I was in Europe, I played um, for Olympiacos in Greece and Nike um, Europe made me a logo. I don't know if you can see I'm wearing it, but um, it's, the, it's like the dude with the afro, but it's a J and a C. And so um, they just took care of me, man. Um, as you can see, all this is lasered in. Um, I got two pair of them. One that was kind of sunken in, the other one this is more sticking out. The sickest part of it too is I, they made a box too. A box with it. It's got the logo on it with the wood. I like these. I, I got all of them. But the uh, the Burroughs pack, these are pretty clean. The rest of them are floating around here somewhere. But it's just a, a clean colorway. You know, Nike did a good job on those. Oh. <laughs> Where they at? 
So I did a, a, a shoe thing when I was playing in Atlanta. And one of the guys that, that uh, saw it and was like, yeah, I'm, I appreciate him showing me love. This dude named uh, Bobito. I don't know how much he designed these. We did a good job on them. And uh, he, uh, he gave me props in the Slam magazine for having these. So I don't have a ton of uh, actual like LeBron, his line, but I, I did have some of his, uh, if, G, if you can help me out right quick, some of his uh, Chamber of Fear pack. I don't know if y'all remember when these came out. And I got a couple of the other ones too. Uh, but yeah, these are always pretty tough to get. I also got some stuff, uh, I don't know how many people remember, Nike didn't used to always sell the same stuff in the same country. So they used to have different releases, and they still do it in Europe, but they used to have different releases um, in Canada and other places. And I got some kicks. Uh, these are a Euro pair that I got. Um, the white with the gum, the gum bottom. The lasers, those was always pretty pretty tough to get. The Canadian ones that I got, the Midas, they had the ostrich. This was kind of like before you could uh, find the ostrich. Here's some of these other ones too. I like the ones with my logo, and then they made some with just the logo on the back. Just real chill. There's another pair. I know that the, um, they just kind of came out with the Revis Tellarius, but um, they go to Tellaria Forces. Nice little bottom to them, clear sole. I think these were called like the Ferdinands or something like that. They're like some premium. Here's another one of those LeBrons too. I had a, another pair of these. These crease up so easy, dude. <laughs> these crease up so easy, so I just kept this pair. It's just crispy. G, help your boy out. <laughs> Only at the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> Here's a, play, a pair that I know nobody will have. Um, these are a Nike ID version. I saw it. Nick has some of these, but I got the Euro lane on the back. So I got the X's and O's, but I got the Euro lane on the back. Something different, you know what I mean? I guess a little taste of the force game. I guess you could segue from forces into uh, into dunks. Um, I like dunks. There's another pair that I got, I got in Canada, the Bucks. I don't know if people know the meaning behind these, but I guess Phil Knight's nickname is Buck. And they, uh, they came out with these in like, a, I guess, an Oregon. This is back when Oregon was uh, this color. They, they used this color a little more instead of the dark green. I was freaking out when I got these because I, I wore them. And I was like putting them, I was putting them on. And these are the chirping birds and the freaking, it started making noise. I was like, what the, where's that noise coming from? For like 10 minutes, my dog was barking. I didn't know what the heck it was, but um, you know, I really like these. Y'all remember that, um, the Ray Guns uh, ad, I think it was Stackhouse, maybe Jermaine O'Neal, a couple of people that got some Ray Gun dunk. Josh, I don't think you're doing your force game justice, though. You need don't. to show your force. It's like, <laughs> for real, show them. All right, show the force game. We got the Halloween joints. I got a ton of patent leather forces. I got a ton of them. Oh, here we go. Here you go, son. Your money. My man G Money. He's not a shoe keeper, he's just my man on the grand. <laughs> the Vibe Forces. These came out, um, I remember when Fat Joe was on, on something, he was talking about, yeah, I'm the only one that got these or whatever. But I think they only made a couple hundred, maybe a hundred something pair just for the Vibe Awards. I used to love these and I wore these out. I don't know if this is a new pair or old pair. This is an older pair. With the Negro League joints. Um, just the colorway, the, the, the stitching, all was, was just dope. I know I got another pair somewhere that aren't, aren't beat. I know I got a few different colorways. I haven't worn them on each yet though. I try to keep my stuff in the boxes just because it's just easier to just transport them. Being an athlete, you're always on the go. And you know, if you're taking shoe boxes here and there, it's just always getting beat up. You know, you gotta throw them away. So I just invested in buying some of these boxes. Some of the shoes fit, some of them don't but it just makes it a little easier to transport them. Here's another pair of LeBrons. That's, that's when he was wearing 23 still. I got the LA versions, the Mr. Cartoons, the uh, football ones, Sheeds. I know Sheed has a cult following. So I got the low top Sheeds, patented fadeaway. I got a lot of forces. I just want to make sure that 
you know, for the fans out there, you don't forget these. <laughs> you know, when you went to that 4th of July picnic, <laughs> you no know, socks on at the picnic. The cloaks. <laughs> Dude, your feet used to sweat so hard in these. <laughs> It be all fogged up. <laughs> sure the cloaks. That's it, funny, dude. That's funny. I got one more force I want to show y'all too. The, uh, the Crocs. These, uh, I don't know how many they made of these. I think it was 2,000 of them. Um, or maybe that, that was the price of them, I think. <laughs> uh, my agent at the time uh, hooked me up for my birthday and got me these. They got the 24 karat gold or 18, 24, or whatever. But um, I actually wore these with a suit one time. And they look normal, like they look like dress shoes. But these are uh, these are definitely, um, you know, a force that I don't think a ton of people have. Um, and I'm gonna just segue into like, I guess Nike basketball stuff. 